What it do, Libras? Welcome back to my channel. It's your spiritual cheerleader, Girl King. Get you some, get you some. Oh, Libras, say word. Say word, Libras. Sun, moon, rising, north, node, wherever Libra may be sprinkled in your chart, you are welcome here. Hello to all of my new subscribers, to my faithful few, and for those of you just breezing on through what it did. Today, believers, we're going to take a look at who wants to say something to you. Some of you seem to be very intimidating. <laughs> And a lot of people want to say something to you, Libra. Now, some people may actually come forward and speak their minds and their hearts and their truths to you, and some may not. So we're going to check into the energies of what it is people around you might want to say to you. As per usual, some or all of these messages may or may not resonate with you in this current passage of moments. So please only do take the messages that vibrate with you. If it's not what rings true for you, Libra, then it's not what it do. Leave it on the counter. Please also like, share, and subscribe. Remember to hit the notification bell so you are aware of when your girl is uploading. The next videos for you. So Libra, let's see who these people are and what they may want to say to you. Angels, who wants to talk to my lovely Libras, my high vibe child? That's you. Y'all are on such a different vibrational frequency in 2022 that people can't reach you. So again, these are the energies of people that want to reach out to you, that want to speak to you, people you may have cut off, people you may have left behind. But we're going to see angels. Who wants to talk to my neighbors? All these people hiding in the cut. Boy, I tell you. And here they come. We have dads back here. We have my peeps. <laughs> so some of your peeps. May want to talk to you, Libra. Your dad may want to talk to you, Libra. It says, fart an elevator, push every button going up, exit waving. <laughs> so some shitty situations are coming to the surface. And some people want to breed funk in your air, Libra. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What else, Angels? these people around my leaders. Look at this. We have moves. <laughs> Interesting. Man boobs. We have moves. We have fat sports analyst and crazy cat lady. Who is the crazy cat lady? Mm -mm -mm. Libra, what is going on? Who are these people? So someone is irritated, Libra. Somebody may be feeling prickles in their back, sensations. Someone could be going through a kundalini awakening. There is this masculine energy here. This person needs to get some things off their back. This person may have a monkey on their back. This person may have an addiction or this person may just have some shit in life that they need to handle and this person is questioning how they're going to accomplish the task of getting these things off their back. And this person may be wanting to ask you for help to help them shave these hairs off their back, to shave these problems off their back. Hmm. So this person might feel like dynamite. This person might be feeling kind of explosive right now. We have my peeps. Hmm. So three peeps. Peeps, <laughs> the peeps, <laughs> they're showing me Easter. So something around Easter could be significant for you. They're showing me yellow peeps, you know, the little birds that, little marshmallow birds covered with sugar. You see them around Easter. Hmm. So Libra, <laughs> there may be three people around you, three of your peeps, Libra, that are playing games with you or that are trying to compete with you. 
But see, you're in the center, Libra. You're in the center of a situation. And you see these three peeps around you. Everyone's got controllers in their hand. You're all playing this game. You're all facing, for some of you, the same reality. <laughs> but they're not on your level, Libra. See, you're sitting higher than all of them. You have a higher perspective than these three peeps around you that may be playing games. So three people around you, Libra, they just, <laughs> GameStop is coming up. These people are gamers. Someone actually may be a gamer. But here we have this fart in the elevator, push every button going up, exit waving. So somebody wants to come back towards you, Libra, to come into your circumference only to bring some shit up and to leave you in it. Because what do elevators do? They go up and down. And so something is surfacing, Libra. And someone wants to surface into your aura, your energy, your environment. Bring up some shit and then leave you standing there in the reeking mess and havoc. So someone wants to just come around, Libra, to stir up some shit and to just leave you in it because they think it's funny. Again, we have these three people around you that are playing games. <laughs> we have this masculine energy again. Someone could have a ponytail. This masculine ha could have a ponytail. I see a blonde ponytail. Someone could also have like a scruffy goatee or like a, a scruffy beard. Like, it's not full, it's very light. It's not patchy, it's just, huh, a patchy. Indian is coming up. But someone may be out of shape. They're out of sorts, this masculine energy. And this masculine energy is certainly feeling some feminine energies, some feminine energies of their self. <laughs> Well, that's why it's the man boobs, because they're manly, but they're starting to feel some fem feminine energies within, within their self. See, it's causing this person to feel out of sorts. That's why I can't get my damn words together. Anywho, back to you, boobs, in the studio. Look at this, fat sports analyst. Back to you, Bob, in the studio. Someone might be a reporter. But someone is trying to report on you or get the dibs on you. See, we have sports analysts. Sports analysts. God dang, this person is really out of sorts. So this person, again, we have playing games. So there's just a bunch of people around you, Libra, that are playing games. So these people want you to love them, Libra. These people want you to love them. Even though they're around you, they're playing games, they're only coming back to stir up some shit and then just, you know, leave you in the pile of reeking smell. Their air, they're trying to disturb your air, your energy, your aura. These people are trying to throw you off. These people have talked a lot of shit. <laughs> Someone's got a double chin. Someone is really fake. Someone's been really fake, spreading lies, rumors. This person does not have a grip on reality. This person does not have a grip on the truth. This person who could be an executive. This person who likes to dress things up. This person likes to dress shit up. And not only themselves, but it's like they like to make more of the situation that it is like they romanticize things they make things bigger than they are like if they did something little they make it seem like it was really big it was like oh it was this it was this and it's like no it wasn't it was this little and you just hyping it up this person mm -mm -mm. we have the initials a m or n could be first middle or last name Libra, you have a lot of Lyran energy around you. There's also an older feminine energy around you. This could be a spirit guide, a passed over loved one. 
But there's a lot of Lyran energy here. Some of you may have placements in Leo. Hmm. This uh, older feminine could have had glasses, curly hair. So this older feminine, this spirit guy, your passed over loved one is holding you in high honor. This person is holding you above the fray, above the cattiness of situations. <laughs> so this person is keeping you out of the cat fight, this uh, older feminine, this spirit guy, this passed over loved one. Let's see what else is going on. These are different strokes for different folks. Hmm. What's going on, angels, for my neighbors? Hmm. So we have, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Oh, Libra. This could be a earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah, this person is in a personal prison of their mind. And that's why this person may be reaching out to you to ask you, God dang, Libra, this is a lot, a lot of strong earth energy. This could be a family member. This could be someone you considered close, like family, close friend, an ex-partner. Someone you may be dating right now. Strong, strong earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All three of these cards are earth energy. And they all say family. It says, perhaps our world has no place for a creature like me from beauty and the beast. Yeah, these people around you, Libra. These people around you. These three beasts. They have no place around you. These are creatures. <laughs> Served from the black ozone. Oh my gosh. Swamp thing? So old school. Who are these people, Libra? These Virgos, these Tauruses, these Capricorns, these three people around you playing games. It says, we don't have to like each other. We're family. I want to show you all these cards. First of all, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. So this person knows that you know that they're no good. They know that they're no good. So you both have an overstanding, an understanding about who this Capricorn Virgo Taurus is. Perhaps our world has no place for a creature like me. These people want so badly to come back to be around you, Libra. These earth signs. Just to play games, to be a distraction, to distract you from the reality that you are currently facing, that you are co-creating. These people, again, want to come back and want to surface back in your life, in your energy, only to bring up some shit and to leave you standing there alone in the midst of shit. Let me just say something. We don't do that here. First of all, we don't allow people in 2022 and going forward and just, just on principle to come in and fuck with our air, our environment, our aura, our energy, our peace. That is a no go. So again, it says, we don't have to like each other. We're family. So yeah, again, this person could be a family member wanting to surface a bunch of shit from the past. And I, I've said a lot of shit here, and I do mean shit, because it's just shit, Libra. They just want to stir the pot. They just want to stir up some shit and leave you standing in it. And I don't like that kind of energy. <laughs> this person thinks that you have a very lovely face, Libra. This masculine and this masculine, again, is 
Masculine and feminine is an energy. So this could be a woman moving in masculine energy. Take it how it resonates. It says nature has cunning ways of finding our weakest spot from call me by your name. 2017 could be significant. Home for the holidays. Yeah, so these people wanted to come back around the holiday season, Libra. Now, although we are into the new year, this is still kind of holiday time. So these people are still wanting, still trying, still attempting to come around you and stir up the shit. And what does this card say next? Drama. That's what they want to come back toward you for, Libra, to stir up the shit and bring you drama. Hmm, you can read this person's body language. You can tell that this person, these people, are wanting to come back around you. You feel their energy, Libra. Because <laughs> you are gaining certain gifts, certain advancements. And Mother Nature has definitely become your friend, as I was saying Hmm, for about the past two months, a lot of you have been getting closer to animals, to Mother Nature, to the trees, to the wind, to everything. And so you can literally hear things blowing in the wind. It's because you've tapped more into your elements and all natural elements. And so people are trying to use like nature against you. They're trying to be cunning in their nature, in their ways. And it's like, well, you understand their nature because you understand nature. You get me, Libra? So these people are trying to use like nature or your own element, air, against you. They're trying to find your weak spot. Call me by your name. Yeah, they're trying to figure out which element to use to go against you. Yeah, they're trying to connect the dots. They're trying to figure out how to use nature. So some people could be using nature spells against you, Libra. What kind of shit? We have this water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Two more cards, please, angels. Oh, goodness, angels. Not that many, but we'll take those three. Thank you. It says more drama straight out of Compton. So we have California energy. Someone could be from Cali. I just heard Dade County. So Compton's in the house. L.A. area. Los Angeles. Straight out of Compton. It's, it's from the movie Straight Out of Compton. <laughs> so someone, this person who's been talking a bunch of shit is ghetto as fuck, but they got the nerve to be talking about you, this double-chinned person. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, this Cancer Pisces, Scorpio ghetto. They're straight ghetto, Libra. But they have the nerve to be talking about you, this fake false person that has been spreading. I just heard propaganda. Wow. Hmm. Your revolution shall be televised, Libra. This is a lot of cards, angels. I thought it was two. We'll take it. It says if you... Wear a dress and have an animal sidekick. You're a princess. And Libra, that's why you are being so watched over, not only by your Lyran star family, but by this older masculine, or I'm sorry, older feminine. This spirit guide, this ancestor, this passed over loved one. So you may have moved into more of a spiritual life in 2016. You could have just started your journey around that time. It says so much for true love from the Little Mermaid. So these people around you, Libra, again, they're, they want your love. 
but they only want to play games with you. These are not sincere. These are not authentic. These are not people in the light. See, they're peeps. <laughs> they just want to peep your light. You understand what I'm saying? These people don't have their own light. So they need to be around you to be in your circumference and your energy and your aura to peep your light. It's almost like they want to harness your light, your energy. You see them all sitting around you? These little peeps? You see them? All of them got a controller, but there you are, Libra. You are the highest one in the room because you are a Sir Emperor. Sir Empress. Ma'am. Sir. Lady. Ma'am. You, Libra. It says, you complete me. I can't make it up from Jerry Maguire. These people need you, Libra. You complete these people, but all they can do, these family members, these close family members, these close friends, these people in your so-called circle, they just want your energy. It says, time to nut up or shut up from Zombieland. Yeah, you're going to kick all the soulless, lifeless people to the side. And I think a lot of you Libras find it funny that these people come around you trying to be a succubus, trying to suck off your energy and your essence. You see that? You've given all you've got, Libra. You've given all you've got, and now it's just funny to you because you know, you see who these people are. You are very aware, you are hyper aware of the energies, of the entities around you as well as their intentions. Again, because your gifts have advanced, they have increased. So you are able to see more, to feel more, to hear more. And these people take it for granted, the love, time, and attention that you gave them in the past. But now that you very clearly see what is going on around you, you have told people, time to nut up or shut up. And yet, these people have talked a good game, Libra. They talked big shit, big shit. And not only have they talked big shit, but they had the nerve to broadcast it, Libra. These people were broadcasting propaganda, lies, and deceit all around town. Meanwhile, it was these people, these earth signs, these water signs, because that's all that's here, Libra, is water and earth. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And at the end of the day, Libra, at the end of the day, what does it end? It ends in laughs because this is you. Because you realize time is up for these nut jobs. <laughs> the joke's on them, Libra. The joke's on them because it's, it's like they... A lot of these people are aware of your sight, Libra. They're aware of the fact that you are intuitive. And I feel very strongly that a lot of you here are. And I can safely say that because I know what energy I'm in and what energy I send out. And I know who's here. Believe me, I do. So these people can't play games with you because you see straight through the smoke and mirrors, which was one of the songs that was first playing when I began this reading. So let's see what these characters want to say to you, Libra, and then we'll take a peek at what you might possibly be saying back to them, as in I need the outcome of this situation. So these shit stirrers, Libra, these elevator riders, these push all the fucking buttons, childish people. I'm gonna come back around playing games. Someone's got an Xbox, a new Xbox. <laughs> got these 
people wondering, we go, oh boy, do they wonder. They wonder how they're going to get back in their energy, how they're going to come back to play some more games. How can they resurface themselves in your life? Again, because these peeps, they want to peep your light. And you've cut them the fuck off because you said, time to nut up or shut up. So meanwhile, Libra, you're laughing yourself all the way to the bank, but... <laughs> But these people, Libra, these people think it's in their best interest to come back into your life and start some shit. So let's see if he, what they want to say. And do any of these characters want to say to my Libras? Mm, they're mad that things haven't stayed the same. They're mad that you changed, Libra. They're upset that they feel like they're in failure. Some of these people are in pain. It says, do you know anyone looking for a roommate? My landlord just evicted me for hosting a lightsaber tournament in my living room. Are you fucking kidding? So some of these people may be coming to you, Libra, because, gosh damn it, they don't have a place to live. Some of them may be getting kicked out. Yeah, again, these people want to get this monkey off their back and they may want your assistance. And it could be they want your assistance with some place to live. That may be the monkey on their back is that they don't have a house over their head. So they got a monkey on their back, but no roof over their head. My goodness, I can't. What's going on in the living room? It says, to be clear, your mom and I aren't getting a divorce because we fell out of love. We are getting a divorce because of you. My God. Libra. So you may have distanced yourself from someone. This person wouldn't tell you what it is. This person left you in a... This, this earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, left you in a questionable situation. They left you hanging, Libra. They left you in hangman status. This person may be getting a divorce. <laughs> so somebody may be coming back to you, Libra. This is a lot. I, this is a lot. There may be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn coming back to you, Libra, to tell you that they got divorced. This masculine, this feminine. And they may have gotten a divorce for you to come back to you. This beauty and the beast energy. So you were definitely the beauty, of course, Libra. Sir, ma'am, yes, gentlemen, you can be beautiful too. Don't ever let anyone tell you other than that. Anywho, Libras, it says, Hi, Grammy, what's the secret ingredient to your famous potato salad recipe? So yeah, this may be your grandmother, Libras, or an aunt that is around you, holding you up, protecting you from the cattiness, from the cat fight. <laughs> Hmm. So you may have reached out to your grandmother, your aunt, this older feminine spirit guide, ancestor, passed over loved one. You may have asked them for assistance in how to handle the situation. These people, these energies, these entities wanting to pop up. And play some games with you wanting to come around and stir shit up in your life. You may have sent out an SOS. <laughs> and so your spirit guide, your ancestor, your past over loved one has indeed sent you a recipe to assist you with your situation. They gave you a bit of magic, Libra, in order to be able to handle the heat of the situation that appears might definitely pop up. It says, can you believe it's been a year since our business went bankrupt? Good times. Good gracious, Libra. So this Cancer Pisces Scorpio may have lost a business. This masculine energy. 
this male or this female who is a masculine energy. So they may have lost their job. They may have lost their business. Somebody actually went bankrupt. So someone filed Chapter 7. And we do have 2017 here. So yeah, someone had to file Chapter 7, Libra. And this person is thinking about the good times. This person may have put on weight due to the fact that they've lost their job. They've lost income. Mm, so, yeah, this masculine might have grown a pair of, of men boobs. <laughs> Someone's got titties. And he's a man. Say it with your chest. Not with all them titties. Anywho, back to you, boobs. It says, hey, I won't be coming into work tomorrow. My dentist suggested adult braces and I need some time to process. I can't make it up. What did I say? This person lost their job. This person is out of work. And they need some time to process some shit. Straight out of Compton. This ghetto ass fool that talked all this shit. And so now they're, you see they had to go see their dentist. So now, oh, their mouth is being worked on. So spirit has suggested that this person, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio, get their fucking words together. Spirit has suggested to this Cancer Pisces Scorpio that they better get on the right side of the track and to stop talking shit about you. So this person is being put on a spiritual timeout and that's why they've had their job taken away, their income. Yeah, so uh, Spirit put a cap on their mouth, literally. This person may have caps, dental caps. Hmm. One more card, please, Angel. Can't fuck with the prince or the princess. Who did they think they were talking about? Boy, you just can't talk shit about everyone. Because you know what? Sometimes you never know who you're talking shit about. Not only that, but you never know who might hear you talking shit. Hmm. They gonna learn today. It says, ever since you started combing your goatee, you've been acting like a real jerk. What did I say about someone with the with the beard? <laughs> so even though this is what they would be saying to you, it's this person with this goatee, this beard. They've been acting like a jerk. You know why? Because they've been combing through the things that they said, the things that they've done, and they're realizing how much of a jerk they've been in the past, but yet this is not stopping this person from coming back in to try and stir up some shit, this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Because this person is still contemplating coming back to you, Libra, to stir up some shit. It says, Mom, Someone is in the house. Please call 911. I'm hiding under the bed. Listen. What did I say? Your ancestor, your spirit guide, your passed over loved one, your spiritual team, your Lyran star family, Libra. Do you know how protected you are? This person is getting a visit from your spiritual team. This person is having sleepless nights. This person may be hiding out. This person may not be sleeping at their own house. Do you see all the caps? Yeah, what's funny is someone is in their house sleeping. <laughs> Someone is in their house, but they can't see them, but they're there. Oh, they're there, Libra. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, because your ancestor pulled you away from all these catty, frisky-ass people. That's you being held up by your ancestor, Libra. You see all these other cats? Look at their faces, Libra. Look at your face, Libra. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody might think you're the crazy cat lady, Libra, even if you don't have any cats. Interesting. 
Oh, but they know you can see, Libra. That's what they do know. They know you can see. And even still, these people continue to test you and to want to come back into your energy to try and affect you, to steal from you, to be a succubus, to take your essence. And your spirit team has had just about enough of this shit. And that's why they're pulling you away from all these shit talkers, these stalkers. These people wanting to come back and leave bad air in your space. We don't do that here. Libras, angels, what am I Libras saying back? Look at this. Already. It says, not surprised, you are always pretty weird, to be honest. Wow, Libra. Do you see this? So again, you're not surprised, and I just said, you can see, Libra. You can see, you know what these people are up to. I just heard jinxsters. <laughs> So yeah, these people that try to put a jinx on you, these people that try to throw magic at you, well now they've got a monkey on their back and some of them don't even have a pot to piss in, <laughs> a window to throw it out. They have no roof over their head, no covering, no protection, Libra. Yeah, these people are feeling very low without your love. Just low, low, low. Someone's chanting right now. They should really stop that. It's not going to work. Angels, what am I going to be saying? Look at this. All came out in a row. This is a lot. We're going to take it. It says, let's get some soup and talk this out. My treat. <laughs> So someone needs some chicken soup for the soul. You may actually have some discussions or a discussion with these earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Because again, <laughs> there's a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn that's coming back towards you, Libra, to tell you that they've divorced their husband, their wife for you. Yeah, see, they're, they're not trying to fight with you. They want to talk with you. So you may talk to this earth sign. It says, you sent this in the group chat. <laughs> Which one of us did you mean to send this to, Abby? Hmm. So these people, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, these earth signs, Libra, trying to come up. So they've been talking amongst this group. Like I said, these three people around you, these peeps, <laughs> these family members, these confidants, these co-workers, whoever these three peeps, creeps are. Somebody's name could be Abby. So you may get a message, Libra, in a group chat <laughs> that maybe you weren't necessarily meant to be a part of. But you may get some enlightening information in a text. Even if it's not a group text, you may just get some very enlightening information in a text that someone did not mean to send to you. Hmm. It says, canceling therapy, I'm cured. So, this uh, water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, this stalker, this this masculine with these man boobs. So this water sign is out of therapy. They feel like they're cured. And so they're coming, Libra. They're, they're coming too. This person who is spiritually and morally bankrupt. They're canceling therapy. They filed chapter 7. This person has nothing. They are out of shape. They are out of sorts. And here they come back to you. All bent out of shape. Titties just flopping. Sir, <laughs> you need a bra. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Listen. <laughs> 
So this Cancer Pisces Scorpio could have put on a lot of weight since they last seen you. So meanwhile, where they're trying to figure out how to hit you in your weak spot, this person may have been emotionally eating, trying to attack your nature, yet nature was attacking them because this person was eating poorly, so they gained a lot of weight. So they got a lot of shit on their plate. <laughs> Not just food, Libra, they've got bankruptcy on their plate, god dang, they've got homelessness on their plate, there's a lot going on. It says, I'm going to say one thing and one thing only, I don't give a fuck. God dang, Libra. I just want to point out why I put this board here. I don't know if some of you watched the video where I explain why I do the things that I do for you. And I explain why I change my backgrounds and why this board is here for you this week, Libra. Because the energies for this week, number one, this pumpkin, this gourd is blue. That is throat chakra power. And I explained to you why these spikes are here. Those spikes are your boundary. They're gold because they're glittering, they're blatant, they're forward, they're out there for everyone to see. The writing is on the wall. The signs have been posted. Your boundaries are out there for everyone to see and to know. And so you're tired of people coming to hunt you down, to steal from you, to take from you, to slice and dice you, to cut you up. And so now here you are, Libra, ready to reap in a new harvest. You've got your boundaries out there. You've got your spikes out. We're going to keep that. Got your spikes out, Libra. I see your spikes, Libra. That'll be our little inside Inside thing with you got your spikes out. See your spikes? Your spikes are showing, Libra. So my God, Libra, I'm going to say one thing and one thing only. I don't give a fuck. Hey, Libra. Hey, Libra. Your spikes are showing, Libra. Your spikes are showing. I love it. If you like it. And if you like it, I love it. It says, I never thought I'd finally hear my birth mom tell me that. My goodness. So there could be mom energy here. So again, Libra, you might be hearing some things that you never thought you would hear before. But I'm really getting the energy that none of this is surprising to you. And I know why that is, Libra. It's because you can see. It's because you hear. It's because you know. And number one, most importantly, Libra, you trust. So please do, Libra, continue to use your own intuition and discernment to make the very best decisions for your highest good. I can feel that all of you know what you need to do and who you need to do it with. The energies are clear, but the choice is always up to you, Libra. Thank y'all so much for your time, your energy, your watch. I love you. I appreciate you. If you would like to request a personal reading, please do scroll down in the description box where you will find that information. If you would like to contribute to the growth, to the expansion, to the energy of this channel, you may do so through Cash App. It is dollar sign Girl King, the number three, the number six, Tarot. Girl King 36 Tarot at Cash App. United we stand, together we rise. Holla at you, girl. Peace.